round four of the Subaru National Road Series with the DBR Canberra Women's Tour, a three-day, four-stage event starting and finishing here at Stromlo Forest Park. And it's no easy tour. With plenty of climbs, these are the roads that Team Skyrider Michael Rogers uses for training. Eyes are on series leader Ruth Corset, and with a win here, she'll be well on her way to wrapping up the series. I've really enjoyed the last two tours, and we've come out with um, a win for each one, and um, on top for the team's one as well, which is good. And you've been really strong in all the races in the time trial and the crits and the road stages. Do you think that consistency you're going to need that this weekend as well? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I'll need a good, strong time trial as well as um, be strong in the on the climbs. Ruth Corset sounding confident ahead of the first time trial, but watch out for local rider and time trial specialist Rebecca Wyerzak. The opening stage warmed up the rider's legs with a 15.5 kilometre undulating time trial. Setting the early fast pace of 23 minutes and 16 seconds was Team Sassy rider Taryn Heather, who was attempting to secure a place in the national team for the world titles. Hot on her heels was Team Boss Constructions rider Ashley Ankudinoff, who shaved almost two and a half seconds off that quickest time with a blistering ride of 23 minutes and 14 seconds. Many of the favoured riders were unable to surpass the time of Ankudinov until local rider and time trial specialist Rebecca Wyerzak of Team Suzuki Trek showed her form with a scintillating ride to smash the previous best by a staggering 10 seconds. Last to leave the start gate was series leader Ruth Corset, who had a disappointing ride to finish more than two minutes off the pace. In front of family and friends, this was an emotional victory for Wyzak from the ACT, who was delighted with her ride. It feels fantastic. I mean, I had a, a fair bit of pressure on myself and a lot of that I put on myself before the tour, um, knowing that I'd won all three of the prologues of time sure was in the NRS before this race. So I guess I wanted to continue that and get a fourth win, which is just fantastic. So Wyzak is in the yellow jersey, heading into the second stage with a healthy 10 second lead. A disappointing time trial for series leader Ruth Corset, who will be looking to bounce back for stage two. And it's a hilly course, suiting the climbers such as Corset, Miranda Griffiths and Lisa Jacobs. The first road stage was a 78 kilometre trek through the Canberra Hills with several testing climbs over a two lap circuit. The sun continued to shine on a chilly Canberra as the 67 strong field left Stromlo Forest Park. The peloton was together over Uriara Crossing for the first of four Queen of the Mountain sprints and it was Katrin Garfoot that narrowly took the points ahead of New Zealand rider Rita Trotman. The Kiwi rider then pounced on the opportunity to break away from the peloton and quickly established a one minute lead. By the end of the first lap, the chase group of eight had reeled her in with another four riders including Ankudinov hot on her heels. On the final climb up Cotter Road, 10 riders had established themselves as potential stage winners. Oh, the sprint there, ladies and gentlemen. And the sprint to the line was a thrilling encounter with Team Boss Construction Nutrixian rider Ashley Ann Kudinoff winning the stage in a photo finish, with Lisa Jacobs in second and Ruth Corset third. I came here wanting to do really well um, following my um, win in um, North West, so I'm just um, stoked to be up there with the climbers and um, yeah, I really backed myself in the end and yeah, I'm stoked to come away with the win. And Kudinov also taking the yellow jersey following a successful transition from the track. I think I'm getting used to it. I mean, I've changed my training a little bit and um, yeah, I'm actually really liking the new challenge with the hills and the time trials and the crit racing. Ashley Ann Kudinov from Team Boss Construction's Nutrixion took out stage two and I'm here with the team manager Ian Potts to tell us a little bit about the team. So Ian, tell us how did the team start? Well Nat, the uh, team started, it's only a new team this year in the NRS. Um, last year we got a call up from the Nutrixion uh, Pro team in Germany and they asked if we had any riders we knew of to put forward uh, for their team. Uh, at the time we didn't but uh, as a result it's kind of grown from that first question to actually uh, uh, start a team in the NRS for women to specifically with the goal to try to get 
young riders over to Germany to race with the actual pro team over there. And what were your goals when you started the team for your first NRS series? Oh, purely for experience. We were just here to get experience. Um, we've been delighted with, with how things have gone so far in the last two races. Um, but yeah, just to get it, build that base for the first year. Glorious weather again in Canberra for a huge day three with two stages in which the tour will be won or lost. Stage three is a 40 kilometre hilly road race and all eyes will be on Taryn Heather and current race leader Ashley and Kudinoff. A good crowd was again on hand as the women rolled out in the Canberra sun. The first queen of the mountain was at 16.6 kilometres and a group of six riders had broken away, led by Katrin Garfoot who took the points. Leading the group who were chasing hard was Tua Leader and Kudinov, who was trying to close the gap and hold on to the yellow jersey. The second queen of the mountain was convincingly won by Ruth Corset, who looked in a determined mood to claw back valuable time. As the lead group approached the finish at Stromlo Forest Park, it was all set up for a thrilling sprint finish. Oh, they're trying to do their best as they can, and it's, I think it's Rita Trotman going around the, around the front. Katrin Garfoot from Team Pensar Hawk proved too strong for the rest of the bunch to claim the stage. Oh, Ruth did a lot of work. That was good. The pack really worked together really well. And um, uh, thanks, thanks to the girls who worked together in the last case. That, that was really great. Finishing in the lead bunch was Taryn Heather, who did enough to take the lead in the GC. Nothing's easy, um, but I've got a couple of good teammates who are going to be working hard this afternoon to defend the yellow, so that'll be good. After a GC shake-up in Stage 3, which saw Sassy rider Taryn Heather take the overall lead, the stage is set for a thrilling finale. There are still a handful of riders in contention to take out the DBR Canberra Women's Tour. The tour culminated with a 40-minute plus three-lap criterium around the purpose-built course at Stromlo Forest Park. Although a few riders attempted a breakaway, no one was able to escape the pace of the peloton. With two laps to go, Sarah Roy continued her pace at the head of the pack, setting up a bunch sprint finish. The sprint to the line was a fast and furious affair, with Ankudinov holding off a late lunge for the line by Rebecca Wyzak to claim her second stage of the tour. Has she got it? Yes, she has. Wow, it was um, a bit, little bit unexpected. I caught, I got caught in the back a few times, but um, I, in the last couple of laps, um, Sarah Woe was on the front, and um, she really um, pulled me through. Um, and then I was just able to counter on top of everything that went past. And you know, coming into the last 200, I just had to back myself and knew I could sprint from any distance. So uh, yeah, it was really close in the end. I didn't think I got it, but um, yeah, I'm really happy to finish off the tour on a good note. And but it wasn't enough to change the standings at the head of the GC, as Taryn Heather claimed the overall tour victory on her return from racing in Europe. I came here um, not knowing how I was going um, after a couple of weeks of training, so I feel like I went really well. My teammates supported me and made it um, a bit easier for today, so it was awesome. Queen of the Mountain honours went to Katrin Garfoot, who also finished second in the tour. The overall lead in the Subaru National Road Series is still held by Ruth Corset with one round to go. It's been um, a great tour, this tour, um, and I wasn't sure if I would be still leading it at the end, but yeah, pretty happy that I'm still leading. Canberra's put on a fantastic tour and surprisingly good weather to match. Congratulations to Taryn Heather, who's returned from Europe in style. We'll find out if Ruth Corset can hold on to the lead of the Subaru National Road Series at the final round on the shipwreck coast in Victoria. I'm Natalie Bates. We'll see you next time.